Come back. Just one more time. You love it. My wrists are tired. I can't defeat new Decimator 98 all alone. Come on, we're a team. You understand, right? Babysitter's leaving in half an hour. Oops, you're right. Scram. I got a massage coming by in five. It was at that moment she realized the romance was already gone. Headshots! Oh, hi. Hi. Hey. So I'm seeing you tonight. Yes. And you would have, even if you hadn't told me that. I was just wondering, you're Miss Seuss. Brandy. I'm sure I'm imagining this, although not as sure now that I know her name, but um, she seems a little, uh, how do I say this? I don't know, um, a bit slutty. She's a hooker. She's not slutty, she's doing something wrong. What? Did you have sex with her? Yesterday? Ah, if you're getting confused by the hooker thing. Well, of course not. I'm dating you. But you used to have sex with her. Well, it was a massage plus happy ending sort of thing. Now it's more of a sad ending. Because of you. I've tried 15 different massage therapists in the last few years. I don't know why, but she's the best I've found. It makes my leg feel better. So you really think that I would be okay with you getting a massage from a hooker you used to have sex with? You don't mind the massage part. You mind the sex part, which doesn't exist anymore. I know a great physical therapist. I will give you her number. Why would I give up one who definitely works for one who might work? Because I asked you to. Well, that's not really an argument now, is it? I won't see you until you stop seeing her. Well, that's an argument. Let's say you had a really fantastic handyman. I was hoping you'd interrupt my cooking to ask about handymen. Do go on. Would Sam ask you to stop using him? Because you might have had a sexual relationship with him in the past. Ah, uh, yes. The age-old hooker massage conundrum. Cuddy might have mentioned something about it. Let's say you're right. Completely right about everything. Give in anyway. This is not a point of pride. This is a point of principle. Right. You're the Rosa Parks of hooker massages. The principle is she's being irrational. Like even on this, it sets the stage for the whole relationship. Putting up with irrationality is the foundation for every relationship. I agree with Sam when she's calling her father a monster. I agree with her when she's calling him a saint. And in exchange, I get to have sex with her. And I'm sure she has similar trade-offs with me. Relationships are hard. You have to make sacrifices. So sacrifice being crazy. Go get her a gift and apologize. You finally made a good point. <laughs> Which clearly you've misunderstood based on how quickly you agreed. Kitchen's burning. Ow. I am Felipe. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Dr. House was worried how you left things. He's given you massage. But as an admission, he was wrong? Yes. Well, tell him thanks, but I have a meeting with Dr. Katz in 20 minutes. He says you would say that, and to say, no, you don't. Well, tell him he needs to stop canceling my appointments because I will just reschedule them. He says you would say that, and to say, eh. That Dr. Schatz is a fat, lonely moron who, in an effort to have contact with human female, makes the same exact complaint about parking spaces every month, and you know, you have to stop enabling him. I have great fingers. <sighs> That's so nice. Thank you. How long have you been a masseur? What is that, masseur? A massage therapist. Oh. No, not long. 
Uh, how did my boyfriend find you? Boyfriend? Dr. House. He is your boyfriend? Why is that surprising? I just mean if he found me, I do not think he's got no girlfriend. Are you a prostitute? Are you a cop? Then no. Get your hands off me. Seriously? A massage from a male hooker? He was? Huh. It doesn't bother me at all. I guess we both learned a valuable lesson. Except that I didn't used to have sex with him, you idiot. Plus, he was a gay hooker. Do you any idea how hard it is to find a straight male hooker? Oh, come on. It was, it's a massage. I don't care who gives it to you. Why not treat me the same way? I'm sure that some part of you believes this idiocy, but you can't possibly be stupid enough to think that you could convince any part of me. And that could only mean you're trying to sabotage this relationship. Why would I do that? We're doing fine. Because the next step from fine is serious and you can't handle that, so you're trying to keep me at arm's length with all this crap. How about you? I have been completely open with you. You won't let me sleep over. Basically, you haven't introduced me to your daughter. But do you want to spend time with her? Honestly, for this, I'd have said no. But, yeah. How are we ever going to be a couple if you keep hiding her from me? House. I need to protect her. I let you into her life, and you go away. I call it what it is. I'm not the only one who's holding back.